Imagine the Sopranos turned lounge singers. It's a combination one local actor and filmmaker hopes will be a big hit. Johnny Slade's Greatest Hits tells the story of a struggling lounge singer who gets his big break with a gig at a hot new club. But little does he know, the club is owned by a former high-profile mob boss. I sat down with two of the film stars, John Fiore and Red Peters, recently to talk about the movie and what it takes to make it big in the independent film world. First, here's a part of the trailer. All the Vegas cats think they got it made. If they only knew they're missing, they and Johnny Slade. I'm opening a new club. I'm looking for a singer to open up for me. This could be the jump start you need. Jump start? I need a V8 and a new set of radios. Johnny Slade heading uptown. John Fiore, try, try if you can to sum up for me in a sort of thumbnail sketch the plot of Johnny Slade's greatest hits. Hmm, the plot. <clears throat> Johnny Slade is a down-and-out lounge singer who does his own material, and not very well, and he's had no success whatsoever. He's not the next Frank Sinatra. He's not, but he's very iconoclastic. That's a good he word. Thinks he That's is. good word. He good, thinks huh? he's good word. Good word. Yeah, he thinks he is. Dean Martin. Yeah, sort of, but he won't do any cover songs whatsoever. And he insists on doing these self-penned tunes that aren't really very good. And one day, when he's just about to pack it in, his manager, played by Richard Portnow, says, I got you a gig, Johnny, this, this nightclub owner, this guy, he wants you to open his magnificent new club. Go see him. So I go see the guy, he hires me, and part of the condition was he gives me a song to sing. So after I do my set, I have to sing his song. Within the song are coded messages that his men are in the audience deciphering the code of because he will no longer have contact with them. They decipher the code. Because he's in trouble. Yeah, he's, he's in trouble. Yeah, he's on the land. Guys that have cement buildings and bars. Exactly. So his men sit out there. They decipher the code. They go whack Joe Blow or do this or that. <laughs> and I figure it out and go, hmm. And it's about what? Message manipulation? Right. You know, stuff like that. So that's And it, it's, it, it really, lots of times you see these trailers and you think this, so, uh, especially if it is a sort of independently right. produced film, and you think, yeah, they made it for nine dollars, and they tried hard. God bless them. This looks funny. We think it's funny. Yeah, it's no, funny. there's definitely some very funny moments. Yeah. Let me ask you, Red. Uh, first, how'd you get your nickname? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right. Uh, 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 how'd you get involved in this? Thing? Uh, That's well, a good John, story. You must yes, tell it. Uh, actually, it was on Columbus Day a couple of years ago. John got referred to my company, Handsome Brothers in Boston, we're a music production company, and um, he came over. How'd you get that name? Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, sorry. All right, He's so, uh, so anyway, um, I heard the knock on the door. I, I didn't know who he was. He just called me up on the phone and said, can I come over and talk to you about some music for a film I'm working on? So, you know, I get a lot of calls. So I said, yeah, come on over. Because music is really at the core of this. Oh, yes, yes. It not only um, does John sing throughout the whole movie, but then we also did the music score, the, you know, the... Uh, the mood of the mm -hmm. film. We help paint the picture that way. Uh, Ed Grenga uh, was oh, the composer yes. on the film. That's a great job. But uh, so the knock on the door, I open the door, of course, I notice who he is right off just from watching The Sopranos. So I say, come on in. We both, we had a session that day. There was a lot of musicians and people around. We went into my office. We sat down. He handed me the script. I'm looking through it. And I, I said, you know, I think this is really right up our alley. And uh, I said, you know, you know who we record here? We record Red Peters here. He goes, no, Red Peters. I says, Peters. I'm a big Red Peters fan. I listen <laughs> to Howard Stern. I love Red Peters. Because you used to do a lot of the uh, music uh, uh, songs. Oh, I for, still do, yes, yes. But I, still do. I don't know he's Red Peters yet. And then he goes, I'm Red Peters. <laughs> Get out of here. You're Red Peters? <laughs> Let me, uh, he brought up the subject of the Sopranos. Let me ask you, uh, I, I've met a lot of those guys on stories yeah. over the years, and there's a lot of guys like, Joey Pants, Joey Pants Pantoliano, who's one of the great yeah. characters that's appeared on The Sopranos, he grew up in an environment where he knew these guys. Right. He, you know, his uncles were doing this stuff, right. and uh, Joey fit comfortably in that world. <laughs> well, having grown up in Somerville, Massachusetts, and the, f well, born in the 50s, and we know the history of gangland war in this uh, area and state, so I'm very familiar with those characters. Just put it that way. I don't want to say too much because, you know, some of them are still out there, you know. And <laughs> you realize some of them don't have a notorious sense of humor. Mm -mm. 
not whatsoever. So we don't want to say too much. If any of you are out there listening, God bless. Uh, but are you are you worried that uh, someday you're going to go uh, have uh, a bite to eat in our Italian North End, and somebody's going to come up to you and go, I want to talk to you? Well, you know what they do? I mean, Joe Pants will tell you, any soprano guy will tell you mm -hmm. over the years. You run into people. They'll say, you know your character on the show? That's based on me. <laughs> really? <laughs> you live in Revere, Massachusetts. That's funny. This shows they, they heard about me, and they, they model. That's, that's what they say, yeah. When now that you've done this, uh, and like I said, I haven't seen the whole thing, but uh, it looks very funny. As a matter of fact, let's go to a little bit more sure. of your trailer. Take a peek yeah. right now at Johnny Slade's greatest hits. You do the songs, I do the comedy. Hey, speaking of projectile vomiting, Slade, Adna Honeycutt, you, you are very funny. I'm not really funny. <laughs> 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 that gives you some power. Power? Hey, 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 big fat Italian. Hey, 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 more pizza now. So I think this looks really funny. What do you do next? Who do you show this to? How do you get it to where people are going to, you know, go out to Cinema 29 and well, pay nine bucks? <clears throat> well, first of all, we're going to go take it to Oldenburg, Germany next week. A likely spot. Yes, one of the preeminent festivals in Europe. They're calling it the Sundance of Europe. Um, one of the preeminent festivals to debut your American film. We're going to show it there. It's a buyer's festival. And then from there, that's the 8th and 9th of it's September. Awful, and on the 10th, excuse track. me, the 11th, we're going to come back here to Boston and show it here at the Boston Film Festival. And from all this, we hope to attract distributors and somebody that would pick it up. It's an indie. We now, have the, the people that do uh, one of the greatest shows on television. Have the people that do Sopranos seen this part of your work? Have they seen you sing yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, haven't yeah, 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 Vince, Vince, Vince loves it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your buddy there, the, uh, the guy who's the gay guy on the show on <laughs> Sopranos, what's his name? Joey Joe, G. Joey yeah. G, who's a big Howard Stern guy yeah. now. But they've all seen it, and they like it. it you know, the, the character of Johnny Sack, uh, on The Sopranos, he plays Mr. Samantha in this movie. Johnny he's Sack, for people that, that watch The Sopranos, he's the guy that was kind of Tony's nemesis, mm -hmm. and the guy that was, uh, he w Tony was at his house at yes. the, sort of the end of the, the catastrophic the end. Married to the, the, the heavy set. The, the heavy woman. The heavy woman, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he, he kind of plays Johnny Sack, but funnier in this movie, and he comes off great. Yeah, he well, comes off he? excellent. He's good, yeah, he comes across good. We got Frank Santarelli, Who's also a soprano? Frank Santarelli, so he's been on the show. He's a stand up comic. Yes, yes. He plays great. Georgie on The Sopranos, the, the bartender. Yeah, who's yeah. always getting smacked around by yeah. Tony. Yeah. And he's Lou in this movie. So now, what's your background? Were you, did you ever do bad lounge singing? Uh, at I the never, Holiday Inn? No, never did. No, they kind of helped me get through the singing. It wasn't easy for no. me. I'm not a naturally gifted vocalist, although you may think so. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah when you hear so it, there's a lot of like, really a lot of tunes. knob turning. You know what I'm saying? Some great <laughs> tunes in the flick. It really is some excellent. Uh, Ed would say, yeah, can we stop here and just sing one word? And there was really a lot of cut and paste, but they, they helped me through it. Did it make you want to. Uh, Go down to the Holiday Inn and sing Valari yeah, next yeah. time somebody's see, having see, a roast beef special. He doesn't he sing Valari. No, I don't do it. He can really sing like that. Yeah. Very envious because he gets up there and he sings. He's a performer. He's a comedic singer. He's a great singer. So I keep saying, why don't we do a review? Slade and Red Peters. You know, with kooky hijinks and shenanigans and rat packs. And have uh, Frank Santorelli. Frank will do the comedy. And a zany adventure in yeah. Yeah. Well, You see, I'm the only one that can't do it. Frank can do the comedy. Right. <laughs> he can sing, and I would just have to hang oh, around like Joey Bishop. It, th this could launch the whole thing. Uh, uh, Red Peters, John Fiore, thanks for being here, and thanks for making this Thank film you. possible. This part of the uh, Boston Film Festival. Here's when and where you can see it. You can catch a screening of Johnny Slade's greatest hits this Sunday night at the Boston Film Festival. The screening will be at 9 p.m. at the Lowe's Boston Common Theater, immediately followed by a Q&A with John Fiore and members of the cast. For more information, log on to bostonfilmfestival.org or johnnyslade.org. From actors to musicians, Nightbeat covers it all. Coming up next, simply put, he is simply amazing. An up-close look at the life and career and, of course, the music of this rising star, Josh Kelly. That's next on Nightbeat here on CN8, the Comcast Network.